In this example of custom field calculations, we're going to have a look at the, the effect of a baseline delay against the baseline. So in this example, we have a baseline set, all the gray, all the gray task bars are under the blue task bars. So that means the gray meaning the baseline, the blue meaning the project task bars itself. So we're now going to say that at this stage, there is no delay. But what we want to know is if there is a delay, we want to see which tasks are affected. And if the task is affected, we want a, that to be highlighted with a red ball, otherwise leave it white. So for example, if I were to change task one from the start and task one was delayed, that would mean every task would be delayed. So, that, so everything would go red from the start. But if I was halfway through my project or a third of my with third of the way through my project and say I was on, um, for example, first interview. Now say the first interview was delayed by 10 days because a room wasn't available or someone was off sick. Let's now pretend what we think would happen in this case. Well, in this case, if that was the case, everything above first interview would remain white. But then from first in interview onwards, you see a little red dot. So that's the way I'm going to approach the example of custom field calculations in this particular example. So let's have a go at it. So again, project tab, custom fields. I'm going to do another text calculation here because I want a yes or no answer to come from it. So anything where you want text, use a text field. So text. And this one I'm going to call, and I'm going to name it and call it Delayed task start date. Right, so my test task, the text two has now been renamed and it's called delayed task start date. I'm now going to create a formula for this. So I'm going to use the little icon for formula. I'll click OK, formula again. Again, it's going to be the if. So I'm coming to general, if. As in my example two, I'm going to get rid of everything in the bracket and start it off from scratch. So in this example, under the field, I'm using dates. So I'm asking if the start date is greater than, so arrow to the right, and I'm going to use another date, and that's going to be baseline start. So what this is saying so far is if the start date is greater than the baseline start, now what do I want to happen? So comma means if it's true, what do I want to do? Well, I want the word yes. And if the start date is not greater than the baseline start, then I want the word no. And that now will allow me to use red and white indicators to tell me whether a task has been delayed. So the formula has been set up. I'm going to click OK. And once more. Now I'm going to use my indicators. So under graphical indicators, I'm going to say if it equals yes, which you put in the formula, I say that's going to be a red ball. If it equals no, I want that to be a white ball in this example. So the formula set up, the graphical indicator set up. Click OK. And there I can see delayed task start date is set up ready to be used. And I'm going to click OK. But right, now I'm going to insert the custom field. 
So I want it to come right before my start date. So I'm going to click on start date. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose insert column. Now I'm going to look for my text too. Text two. And now you can see all the circles are white because nothing's been delayed. So this is saying they're all okay, nothing's been delayed, they're fine. Now if I happen to make a change from the top, everything's going to go red. So now I'll just come halfway down the list or three quarters way down the list just to show you what will happen if I change a task that's not at the top. So let's pick on first interview. So first interview is due to start on the 5th of January, so 5th of July, 2017. I'm now going to apply a constraint to delay this. So I'm going to click on first interview and double click. Advanced. Now I want to delay it, so I'm going to say it can't start any earlier than, so start no earlier than. And I need to now work out 10 days from the 5th of July. So there's the 5th of July, 10 working days, 1, 2, that's 2 weeks, that's the 19th of July. Click OK. And now we know there's a constraint on and the balls have turned red. So in this example, everything that's white, there's no delay. So without even looking at my Gantt chart, I know where the delay has come from. It's come from the first interview. So if I were to scroll across the first interview, I can now see the delay maps to my red balls. So everything atop the red circle of red balls is now showing white. So that's unaffected. And if I go back, I'll show you it's unaffected. So the last white. And if I scroll across to that, it shows me it's unaffected. Where, whereas when I look at the first red, it is affected. So this really shows you the power behind custom fields and calculations within custom fields. Now you might say, how, how much further can I go with these custom fields? You can really go as far as you want. The best thing is to keep on testing them, keep on trying things, try and follow the logic of what this is trying to do. But really, you can push this to quite a advanced level. But I hope this gives you a summary and an overview of what custom fields can do and calculations within custom fields.